the elusive 12. That's the name of the 12 most wanted shiny Pokemon that mock me, that torment me, remind me of my failures. These 12 shiny Pokemon have all escaped me throughout my years of being a shiny hunter. From shiny alphas to shiny starters to shiny legendaries, the fact that the elusive 12 have all escaped me haunts me to this very day. So to me, these 12 shinies, they're wanted fugitives. This is dispatch alerting all units to an alpha attack in progress in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Please be advised, Shiny Shinx is on EB officers near Mizagosa. Be advised, a string of robberies involving a young goose have been reported. A ranch from rampage is in progress. Please respond to an explosion near Zapapico. Perpetrator is reported to be a blue Voltorb. Be advised. Now, in order to find and apprehend the Elusive 12, I'm gonna need some complicated strategies, some specific Pokemon, some community help, and a lot of patience. And the patience begins with our first target, Shiny Alpha Shinx, codename, The Big One. We caught Shava Shinx back in 2023 during a crazy lucky outbreak, but it was able to escape my clutches because it had an accomplice, my chat. Now my sources tell me that it's on the run somewhere in the Hisui region, but the bad news is that Shava Shinx has hired doppelgangers, and like a lot of them. Yeah! Woo! We got it! Come here, buddy! Oh, no way! Are you alpha? You seem a little small to be an alpha. Phase number two, gamers. Ugh. No way! Wait, we got another one just like that? Hey, another one! But it's not alpha. We're gonna phase a lot, aren't we? Hey! No! No! Come on! Uh, chat phase six! Phase seven, chat! Shinx is not a rare mon. Like, it's everywhere. It's like that. <sighs> Hi, Shinx. Uh, I mean, we got one! We got another phase, chat. We got another phase. This golden cat is genuinely so elusive. We've apprehended over 20 of his doppelgangers, but the literal biggest one is somehow still hiding. And after weeks of hunting and hunting and hunting, phase after phase after phase, it seemed like the big one was gone forever. Until... Yes! Chat! <laughs> yes! It's over! While it feels great to apprehend one of the elusive 12, shiny Alpha Shinx isn't even the golden cat I'm most worried about hunting. Later, we attempt to apprehend the most wanted shiny fugitive. Not even just my most wanted, but this Pokemon was the most wanted shiny for countless creators. But for now, another target has just been spotted somewhere in the Crown Tundra, all the way in Galar. Tyrantrum, code name, Lockjaw. While hunting at Dynamax Adventures about two years ago, we ended up finding the shiny Tyrantrum, but we were unable to catch it because a much rarer shiny ended up appearing as well. And if you don't know in Dynamax Adventures, even if you catch all four of the Pokemon, you're only allowed to keep one, which makes finding multiple shinies in one raid kind of like a bad thing. We made the executive decision to capture shiny Ho-Oh, but that meant Tyrantrum was able to go free. But now we hunt and find this prehistoric fugitive. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Oh, let's go. Oh, what a level two. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh. And just like that, we have our second target already apprehended. And the rest of the Elusive 12 better be scared because we are on a roll right now. But we can't celebrate too much because our next target is not only a master of eluding me, but he makes me feel like a fool while doing it. No! Now, I'm, I'm not sure what type of sorcery this memento is, but I knew to apprehend this mastermind magician, I needed some help. Enter Agent Gliscor. By giving Agent Gliscor the Choice Scarf and the move Taunt, I'll guarantee outspeed the Jump Pluff thanks to Choice Scarf. And my sources tell me that Taunt actually negates the move memento. And this combination proved very effective. Hey, let's go! Yes! The reclaim is here! Oh, I hope you memento. I hope you memento so hard right now. And there's the capture! 
Let's go! Jump Pluff reclaimed chat with the dream team of my strategy and Agent Glyscore. Square Shadows of Jump Pluff stood no chance of escaping. By the way, leave a comment down below if you understand the reference of Square Shadows and Jump Pluff. It's like super niche, but there's gotta be at least a few people that know what I'm talking about. But anyway, what most of you may not have noticed is that our first three targets all had something in common. Them escaping me wasn't really my fault. Shiny Alpha Shinx had an accomplice. Tyrantrum just got lucky because we apprehended a much more wanted fugitive. And Jump Pluff, Okay, you can make an argument it was my fault. Okay, but no one knew it had memento. Don't lie to me. But these next four fugitives, I'll be honest, all of them were my fault. Look, I was a young shiny hunter, okay? I was just only a rookie. And these fugitives ended up being able to escape right under my nose. Now, I don't love reliving these past failures. I mean, people still bring up these blunders to this day. I'll have a, I'll have a crazy cool shiny moment. And then someone's like, hey, you remember that Volt Orb? All right, but enough is enough. I have never had more motivation to shiny hunt Pokemon in my life. And thankfully, I've been told all four have been last seen in the Paldea region. So it's time to get hunting with our next two targets, Hariyama and Starly. Wait, are you the shiny? Oh my, wait, no way! Wait! <laughs> Bro, that took like six seconds. I'm so surprised I saw that. Like, I kind of was like, is that the shine? I didn't think that was the shine. Doing good, hope all is well. Yeah, we got we got one shine today, which isn't bad. Sfeel and PLA was kind of hurting us a little bit. Never mind. Let's go. We got two. Yeah. Huge. Now I respect Shiny Starly for trying to hide in the shade because to be honest, I almost missed it again. As for Hariyama, well, I'm just mad I, I missed it in the first place. I mean, this dude's an absolute unit. But with Hariyama and Starly apprehended, I'm starting to feel like these ghosts of my past are starting to slowly fade away. And I really want to keep that feeling rolling with our next target, Dunsparce. Code name, Pink Alien. And in my opinion, this was the single worst failure of my rookie career. I mean, I am literally 11 inches from this thing. I, I watched this clip back and I'm like, I how, did how did I miss this? I don't know. I just, I have to catch this thing for, for my own mental sanity. I have to apprehend it. <gasps> hey, buddy. I almost missed you. No, don't you dare run away from me. The reclaim. Let's go. Oh, that feels good. That feels really good, actually. I'm not going to lie. With three of our four current targets hunted and apprehended, we only have one more, Voltorb. And Voltorb is a little bit unique. Ever since Generation 1, Voltorb is really known for one thing, going boom. And if you remember, I said that finding these shiny fugitives will sometimes require some strategy. So similar to Jump Pluff to hunt Voltorb safely, I'll need a bit more help. Enter... Agent Politoed. My sources tell me that Politoed is one of many Pokemon that have the ability Damp. If a Pokemon has Damp, the opposing Pokemon is unable to use any boom moves such as self-destruct or explosion. So even though the shiny Voltorbs don't go boom outside of battle, like the normal ones do, Agent Politoed will ensure that if the first quick ball fails, Voltorb won't be able to escape again by going boom. Hey! Yes! Oh, Finally, dude! Try and self-destruct. I dare you. I dare you! Oh, I guess it doesn't, doesn't matter. Woo! Finally! And just like that, we have apprehended all four of our current targets. And I really hope that now I have all of these shinies again, people will forget I ever failed them. Please. But anyway, with seven of the elusive 12 brought to justice, we're over 50% of the way done. Yes, unfortunately, we still have the two most wanted, and I am very terrified of hunting them, but no one has seen them since. And because of that, we can't really target them down right now. So for now, we're moving on to the two of our remaining three targets. And similarly to Hariyama, Starly, Voltorb, and Dunsparce, the way these two fugitives escaped, it was all my fault. And I wasn't even a rookie. I was just stupid. Dang it. Oh, that's so depressing. Wow. And I will be ordering food very, very, very soon. I lost the Blaziken. I didn't save after the torch and I lost the Blaziken. I'm not, I'm not looking at chat right now. If any of you are saying, why didn't you save? I don't want to hear it. If any of you said, I don't, why didn't you save? I don't want to hear it. 
Legends. So now you know my biggest secret. A Shawnee Hunter as accomplished as I am has blundered not once, not twice, but three separate times by forgetting to do arguably the number one rule of shiny hunting, save. And sure, I have now trained my brain to save even during the most random of times, but that still doesn't take away from the disappointment of the shiny blunders. And it's my job to find and capture these fugitives, since it's all my fault that they escaped. And we start with shiny torch it, code name, Chicken Little. Now, if you saw a separate video I did where I hunted and caught every shiny mega Pokemon, you would have seen me catch a shiny Torchic. And if you're asking yourself why I'm hunting Torchic again, well, it's because we made a discovery. The Torchic that escaped me because I forgot to save was female. And the one I caught during the mega video, well, that was male. I don't know how we missed this for so many weeks, but Chicken Little is about to be a free bird no more. Enjoy the prison containment box, Torchic. Yo! Yeah, chat, look at him. Let's go. All right. And what have we learned, chat? We have learned to save. <laughs> With Chicken Little out of the way, my sources tell me we need to head back to the Hisui region for our next target. Meet Cricketot, code name, future pop star. Now, I don't love going back to the Hisui region because it just reminds me of shiny Alpha Shanks and that hunt was mentally torturous, but it's my fault that this bug is roaming free and I need to right this wrong. But while on this hunt, the worst thing possible happened. Wait, no way! Oh my goodness! Belasa, wait, no, 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 no. No, no way I failed twice. No way I failed twice. No way I failed twice. I'm gonna let this drift loom kill me. I don't even care at this point. Throw a ball into battle. I couldn't, they run away. I am so ashamed of myself. Throughout my whole adventure of capturing the elusive 12, I hyped up all of my strategies and how I'm learning from my past mistakes. And yet while hunting for shiny Cricketot, everything I learned just seem to slip away. I mean, if I can't apprehend a shiny bug, how in the world am I going to find and capture two of the most wanted? It was a rough couple of days, but thankfully I had the best pick me up. Oh my goodness, let's go. Yes, oh, finally. I didn't know if I heard it or not. <laughs> Yes! Now, up until this point, this was the most important fugitive that I have found. Yes, there were more rare and more wanted shinies, but with future pop star apprehended, my confidence level started to come back. And just in time for our final target, before we attempt to track down the two most wanted. Meet Young Goose. Code name, not actually a goose. And I will die on this hill that losing Young Goose was not my fault. Now, I don't have actual footage of losing the Young Goose. I don't know if our body cams died or what exactly happened. But instead, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, a dashing shiny hunter was flying over Paldea. While soaring towards a ray dead, not a care in the world, a small pink rodent caught his eye. With joy and excitement filling his face, he soars down with an incredibly fast pace. For a shiny young goose appeared on the ground right next to all of his friends. With one easy quick ball, the shiny was his. But while continuing his travels towards the raid den, that same raid den made his entire world crash. Wow. AKA my game crashed while entering the raid den and I didn't save, so therefore I lost the young goose. Billion dollar company, by the way. Are you? <laughs> you are not who we were looking for. What? I... <sighs> Where are you? are blowing it, Gary! Blowing it! <laughs> no shot. Wait. Yo, wait, that's crazy! Yo, back to back! Let's go! Back to back, shinies! Let's go! Back to back, back to back, back to back. When I started this challenge, I had one goal in mind. Reclaim every shiny I've ever failed. I had this idea that if I caught all of these shinies, people would finally stop bringing up that I failed them, and I could finally leave these mistakes in the past. And while that's true, this isn't the whole story. What I never told you is that I also wanted to reclaim these shinies to prove I'm a much better shiny hunter than when I started. No, not for bragging rights, not for pride, but because I knew in order to find and catch these next two shinies, I needed a lot more patience and determination than all of these previous hunts combined. 
Because these two next most wanted aren't fugitives that I found and failed. They're fugitives that I've never actually found. But all of that changes today. And it starts with Fue Coco. Codename, the Easter Bunny. Because Fue Coco is one of the three starters that are unable to be shiny hunted in the new DLC, the Indigo Disc, the only way to get the shiny is by hatching egg after egg, hoping just one is the lucky one. And years ago, I attempted this egg hunt. After hundreds and hundreds of eggs, I ended up getting Sprigatito and Quaxly, but never Fue Coco. And finally, I just gave up. The shiny eluded me. He won the mental war. But I've proven to myself that I'm a better shiny hunter now. So day one of this hunt, I cooked over 250 eggs and I hatched them all. No luck. The next day was another 125 eggs. And once again, we came up short. Everything seemed pointing to me failing again, but I was not going to stand for that. So I cooked up boxes and boxes of eggs. Hundreds of them were primed and ready. And as day three started, I was feeling pretty confident. You mean to tell me it was the first egg? It was the first egg today? I cooked up hundreds of eggs for this hunt today. And we got it on the first egg? I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I genuinely, I don't even know what to say. All right, guys, thanks for coming, everyone. Thanks for, thanks for a great stream, guys. <laughs> call it fate, call it destiny, call it content luck, but Shiny Fue Coco is ours on the very first egg of day three. After spending hours and hours of cooking eggs, the fact that it showed up in our first egg made me feel weirdly confident. Yes, I have hundreds of eggs now just sitting in my game, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that the shiny fugitive of almost two years is finally ours. But our final hunt is the most wanted for a completely different reason. Back in February of 2024, my buddy PM7 hosted a shiny Johto event where me and a bunch of creators all teamed up to try and catch every shiny Johto Pokemon in just 24 hours. And there were some incredible shiny hunters in this event. But after 24 hours, we caught 99 of the 100 shinies that we needed. The one shiny that none of us could catch, shiny Raikou. For weeks after this event, none of us could get this gross taste out of our mouths. We were one shiny away from accomplishing something incredible, but I knew what I had to do. So for months after the event ended, I hunted and hunted and hunted. Hundreds of Dynamax adventures. I searched in Dynamax adventure after Dynamax adventure. 50 raids, 100 raids, 150, 200, 300. And this shiny Raikou just never showed up. But on June 7th of 2024, Four months after the PM7 event, I decided to do one final raid before I ended stream. Uh, I do actually need this shiny. Fun factoid. Let me, let me snag him real quick. Get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. Oh! Huge! I will smack you down, squirrel. Dude, burning the squirrel was, was a big play. It was a very big play. Uh, nah. I don't really need to catch this. I already have this shiny. I think this will KO. Big damage. Here we go, chat. Shiny luck emotes. Let's see them. Come on, Raikou, please. You know, let's do a timer ball. Why a timer ball? Because the amount of fluff and time I've spent hunting for this tiger. No sand slash. No greedent, which is fine. I already have the shiny because we want the Raikou. Please. Raikou. It has been many months please come home come on oh yes yes chat it's here let's go we got it let's go <laughs> i'm literally losing my voice yes it's the timer ball oh my gosh Oh, you look so good. Oh my gosh, never doubted. Loved this Pokemon always. Oh my gosh, it's over. Oh, it's over. And just like that, all elusive 12, including the two most wanteds, have been caught. This journey was honestly pretty tough to be reminded of how many shinies I failed in my career as a shiny hunter. And it also hurt how many of these mistakes were so easily avoidable. But it was all worth it knowing I was able to learn and grow from these mistakes and to correct them. Now I know that these 12 shinies will not be the last that I fail, but I promise you, if any other shiny Pokemon escape me and become fugitives, you best believe I'll hunt them down.